what's up everybody so glad you're here just wanted to show you what I have uh, got together in the past two days playing the new plasma demo uh, really enjoying this game uh, I built a drone I know everybody's building drones um, I added an extra function so as much as you can see here I have an interesting camera setup for my remote control uh, you know I've got my lag situation fixed by adding a transceiver so there's no more overlapping signals um, but if you hit this switch right here now it follows you everywhere you want to go right so you go around the corner and you're like oh man I need to get up there you just hop up here and then you know jump wherever you need to go I might add a control setup on top of this thing so that you could have it follow you and then jump on it and fly it wherever manually um, but if you switch that off now the remote over here is in charge of everything um, and then when you switch it back oh, sorry back on it follows you around so off remote on follows you and I'll let you take a look at the code for just a second on that um, so that's just my cameras over here we've got the uh, follow bot um, so this area right here is just a gated GPS tracker directional indicator that shoots all the way over to controlling the drone um, and it just detects me and then it comes toward me so you can see the longitudinal is being uh, tested by this range tester if it's within a certain limit then it gets closer to me um, the directional indicator is in control of the yaw um, and that's just going to uh, change its direction toward me essentially uh, and then down here these are just distance sensors uh, that I actually copied from another players build uh, with you know a few a little my own flair um, to allow for uh, ground control so it's not bumping into the ground all the time um, or into other objects so um, you can see the distance sensors are all set to all look at the lasers all turned off you could have the lasers turned on I don't appreciate those and then the gates are all controlled by the power switch on the front and they are all group ID number three um, for the sake of separation and put them to three and uh, and then over here we've got the the regular camera setup and everything for the remote controls uh, and cameras um, and more interesting material is to be found over here this is my project that I've been working on today you thought this was it you thought that this thing was all I've been working on say hello to my pet dragon that's right everybody I have a pet dragon so not only that this thing is actually built off of this thing so if I come over here and I turn this on check it out he starts following me well sometimes he shoots himself in the mouth <laughs> like that uh, so I've got to work on my timing and everything on a lot of the stuff it actually is supposed to shoot when the mouth is all the way open uh, the most which most of the time when I'm right next to it it seems to do perfectly but as soon as I go here uh, maybe a little bit further let's test this out come on buddy you're making me look good when I'm trying to say that I'm you're not that great come on <laughs> So again, that one's actually made out of my follow drone, the A1, available on the My Devices tab. Um, and uh, if you take a look, you can see I have shared this. It is simply called Dragon. Um, and it has been uploaded. Oh, there you go, shooting himself in the mouth. That was loud. Sorry about that. Um, and again, two, two times, three times is a curse. Oh, that's a curse. We're cursed. Oh, no. Oh geez, come on. There we go, that's clean. Alright, let's shut that off for a second. 
So let's take a look at the code for this guy. Um, I actually have spent a decent amount, decent chunk of time trying to make this uh, as clean as possible. Um, I have, excuse me, labeled everything um, so you know what sections do what. Um, so you can see up here, um, the, this is the follow bot, uh, automated flight, and this is for, from the drone uh, itself. Uh, and everything within this is from the drone so this is exactly the stuff that I showed you uh, just a second ago you can see here is a section for back legs here is a section for front legs here is uh, the remote control section this is from the previous drone because it does still have the cameras on it so if you want to take this bot and then chase your buddies with it that's totally possible um, We've got the wings over here. You can speed them up, slow them down. Um, the flight control uh, is also located down here if you want to tweak anything. We've got the uh, head and neck, and you can see the plasma cannon right here is actually uh, every time the mouth is about to close, it shoots, which is why I am like wondering exactly why this is why he keeps shooting himself in the mouth because his mouth should literally be wide open each time sometimes it just has to do with distance but um, and I also have exhaust pipes that are in his mouth um, on timers so that when he's shooting should in theory be smoking uh, at the same time and then back here we have uh, what it says to be title but I have named it tail I don't know why that didn't save the uh, the name tail, but you can see. Let me turn this. Uh, oh, come on, let me turn the follow off, and you can see back here he's got a little wiggling tail. Uh, so you saw all of those uh, different. Oh my. Yeah, this guy can get kind of loud. Uh, so yeah, you can see all the single axis uh, axis joint. Uh, you know, firing. Uh, in intervals so the one closest to his body goes to eight minute scales down seven six five four three two one uh, that way the one at the furthest bit um, the, the tip of his tail is firing every second this, you know goes in closer two seconds two seconds three seconds five seconds five seconds uh, six seconds seven eight you know so on and so forth um, and that is uh, to keep the tail from slapping itself I turn the um, the rotations down quite a substantial amount and you can see I have the, the them actually staggered um, so uh, they don't uh, you know it kind of looks a little bit more natural so just for a second uh, I'm going to actually cut off this dude's um, fire breath so to speak and then we can just see oh my goodness see how he acts just in, in in body so he's very automated you know like something you might see at Chuck E. Cheese but it works you know you've got the the wings flapping up and down you've got the legs moving back and forth you know it's not the smoothest thing it's not exactly like that spider that you see in the tutorial or the hand um, I'd like to get some people to help me out with automating the legs where he's actually kind of walking around and doing that whole number um, but you know we'll see maybe uh, maybe one day somebody can take the build and do a little bit more advanced work with it but until then we have a dragon to play with so everybody who's creating turrets and stuff can add this in and actually have like a fun target uh, to shoot at and then at the same time you know it'll chase you around all you got to do is just come over here and flip the switch and you're good to go all right have fun with it catch you guys later peace